response to a report about something I do really very rarely and that's European business class today on Lufthansa's very new Airbus A321neo so we can be quite curious. I'm Chris. I've been crazy about planes since childhood. As an opera singer and also privately I'm constantly on the go with way over a hundred detailed reports on my two channels. Everything here is about airlines, low cost, economy class, business class and first class but also about hotels and exciting travel destinations worldwide on all continents with lots of tips, insider knowledge and above all always honest. And today it's not just about European business class but how to use miles and more miles the right and the wrong way and what you should never do with them. So come with me on Lufthansa's business class on the Airbus A321neo in two and a half hours from Porto to Munich. An advantage of Lufthansa Business Class is their generous luggage allowance of 2 times 32 kilograms. Oops, there's my favorite suitcase, which was gone after the flight and then destroyed. That can happen. While a lot of miles and more customers still think to themselves, now let's walk down very quickly that fast track to get our very special experience for all these many miles. up in the air. Well, why would you fly European business class? Well, first of all, and I think that's the most important um, advantage of it is that you have two times 32 kilograms of luggage, checked luggage, and that's so much more than the one piece of 23 kilos only. And uh, once you have to travel for quite a long time, like I do mostly for my job, it's quite handy to have more or less unlimited luggage. 64 kilograms altogether. Then of course we have fast track which is not so important in Porto because there are not so many passengers in Porto. Then you have a lounge access and also that is not very interesting in Porto because the lounge is really really sad. Here are a few pictures of the lounge in Porto. But then, of course, once you're in the plane, it's quite uh, similar to economy class. Of course, you have a better food, or actually you have food, while you don't have food in economy class, or actually almost no food. Uh, but then the seat is actually a normal economy seat. You don't have entertainment. You don't have more leg room. You just have um, the middle seat empty. So you always have uh, some free seat next to you that's empty. Other than that, it's a very regular small plane. It's a narrow body plane. You almost always or you almost never get um, a wide body plane and therefore you almost never get international business class, but a very regular business class that looks like economy class. This report is not just about the well-known European business class where almost all European airlines just offer economy seats, but about the correct use of miles with miles and more. So many customers are still using the miles in a disastrous way and kill their value big time. Here's a banana for 50 cents. Oh, but there's a banana that I can get for free at the Lufthansa World Shop for just 500 miles. Wrong. 500 miles correspond to a good five dollars. 70 bananas make 35,000 miles without any extra fees. 
or a one-way flight in business class from Europe to Kenya worth around $2,000. Sure, bananas are delicious. I understand if you take the bananas. Or in real life, one of the many suitcases that you can buy from the Lufthansa World Shop at either $130 or 35,000 miles. As much as a one-way business class flight from Europe to Zanzibar. Hmm, should I now spend my 35,000 miles on a $130 handbag or a $2,000 flight? Before the report really starts, here is an idea for you. If you like this report and the flight and travel reports here on Traveling Fly, then please give me a thumbs up, write a comment and above all subscribe to the channel with the bell next to it. You'd make my day, you help the channel to grow and become more visible. Keep looking around the channel, I'm sure there's still some exciting reports you haven't seen yet. It's great to have you on board. Boarding was very friendly. We got all greeted by Bavarian Grüß Gott, which is a Bavarian saying for hello or good day. And uh, I got asked if I'm filming other passengers or crew, and of course I don't because I really don't like to do that. I always try to not film other passengers or the crew because it's their workplace, and also other people should just uh, travel without being filmed. I would not like to be on somebody else's movie, and I try to do the same. Um, other than that, boarding was friendly, as I said, but there's no welcome drink. We didn't get a hot or cold wet towel or something like that, so there's no towel. Uh, so when it comes to the service before takeoff, it was like an economy class. Nothing. And we got served the first drinks of the flight, and that's a selection of juices, uh, soft drinks, water, and uh, sparkling wine. They don't have champagne here on this flight, but German sparkling wine, we call that Zekt. Uh, but it's not a supermarket quality, it's quite a nice um, a sparkling wine made of Pinot Noir grapes. And I mean, Germany has a quite a high reputation for the white wines, especially when it comes to Riesling from the Mosul Saar region. They have world class, excellent uh, white wines. So maybe it's also a matter of point of view. Um, maybe to just serve a German sparkling wine in of, uh, instead of uh, champagne. And um, of course, champagne is also more expensive. A good champagne is more expensive. But um, why not do that? So the sparkling wine here tastes quite nice. Of course, it does not have the fine mousse that you would get in a, a good French champagne. But other than that, it has quite a nice taste. And what I really like very much is also they have freshly squeezed orange juice. And they said it comes from Munich. They squeezed it freshly in Munich and it went all the way to Portugal. But I mean, they say it first of all, that's really nice. So it's really honest, super clear and it tastes very nice. And I mean, Freshly squeezed orange juice is hard to beat. And we also got served lunch, and that's a um, filled uh, chicken breast and some carrot puree. And I think this is a Bavarian appetizer. I'm not so sure yet, but uh, I think it is. I think it's Obatsta, that's from Bavaria. And we have a chocolate cake afterwards. And with it, there's a warm cheese bread roll. So that looks quite appetizing, actually. Mm -hmm. So what I thought is a Bavarian appetizer, Obatsta, is actually a um, shrimp cocktail. Actually, the tiny shrimps from the North Sea. So that's actually quite nice. Tastes really good. And the chicken breast is also quite nice. It's stuffed with spinach. And we have some carrot um, vegetables, or actually carrot puree with grape sauce. And there's also mangold. I'm not sure what that is in English now, but it's such a nice vegetable. And with a lightly bitter taste, and bitter is a taste that you hardly ever get anymore on the menus worldwide. And it's a taste too, and sometimes it's really nice to have that too. So, altogether really nice.
Well, it's pretty known that European business class is among the worst business class products in the world when it comes to the seat. But I have to say, when it comes to the crew, Lufthansa is pretty outstanding because here the flight attendants mostly have a career for their whole life at the same airline and they really know what to do. They're very, very well trained. They know about everything in their job and I think when there's a, a medical emergency or if there's a real emergency on the plane at all, they really know what to do and I would totally give myself into their or put myself in their, their hands because I'm sure they really know what to do when there's something not going smooth and I'm not so sure even in the really fancy airlines where there's very young flight attendants mostly that are there just for a couple of years I'm not so sure if they always really know what to do so here I'm pretty I'm feeling pretty pretty safe in that case also so now I'm looking at this chocolate dessert and I'm gonna dig in and uh, enjoy every single calorie going down my throat. I'm one of those people who enjoy to be not reachable for some time once in a while and uh, a flight here is quite perfect for that because there's no entertainment on board so you can either look at the wall you can look outside or you can look inside yourself and that can be quite interesting and sometimes also quite scary so entertainment is guaranteed So now I'm gonna show you the amazing functions of this seat. That's it. This flight is kind of a premiere when it comes to the booking because for the first time I booked this business class as an upgrade bid. I was bidding for an upgrade into business class. I had a quite high price uh, economy class ticket for this flight and then I bid um, on online uh, for a business class upgrade and I got it. I mean you could bid between a hundred dollars minimum and I think 350 or 400 dollars maximum. Well I put the minimum because I looked a little bit before uh, how well this business class was booked and it was only booked uh, four seats out of uh, 12 seats so I thought maybe my chances are not so bad and I got the upgrade for a hundred dollars. Of course you can also book this flight with miles and on miles and more and Lufthansa miles and more you have to spend 25,000 miles plus fees and taxes for this flight from Porto to Munich or anywhere else in Europe. However, I want to say something about spending miles wisely on miles and more because 25,000 euros is this rather normal business class flight which is almost like economy class except for the luggage and the food um, in Europe but for only 10,000 miles more you can get a really really nice flight of eight hours uh, from Europe to for example Central Eastern or Western Africa or the Middle East you can fly on Lufthansa or Swiss or Starlines to all those really fantastic destinations with a wide body plane with really nice long haul service with a seat that uh, transforms into a bed so with all that really nice comfort that you get there so that's really my advice to do that and how to do that if you don't have so many miles on miles and more you can for example in, in Europe in Germany you can um, gain miles for example by um, uh, buying um, 
um, subscription for a newspaper or a magazine it's very easy uh, to get 10,000 miles by just spending like 120 or so dollars 150 dollars uh, uh, on a subscription and you get 10,000 miles for that and there you have the 35,000 miles that are necessary for a really nice flight experience not only with Lufthansa and Swiss as I said but also all the other Starlines airlines such as Turkish Airlines which have a really nice business class or Ethiopian Airlines a totally underrated underestimated airline for a flight to let's say Nairobi or Kilimanjaro or Zanzibar Dar es Salaam Dubai or for example also to Accra in Western Africa another really great option to spend 35,000 miles is within Asia you can for example fly between Japan and India for just 35,000 miles on a and a business class a really great business class nine hours flight and that only for 35,000 uh, miles so I really advise you spend your miles wisely it's a currency like just euros or dollars and you can really make a fantastic bargain by spending your miles wisely so that's my opinion and my advice More than two hours have passed and we're already descending into Munich. What can we say about this business class of Lufthansa on this very new Airbus A321neo on this regional route? Well, first of all, this a plane does not only serve regional routes but really long routes too. The five or six hours even are not so rare on this plane. And uh, I mean, the business class seat for that is really not great it's a very normal economy seat and I mean in the first row it's a little better because you have a little more space but other than that it's a normal economy class seat no uh, special seat recline or anything you don't have any nice amenities there's also no um, like special things happening there's no entertainment there's good food I mean you get food for free and that's actually the only thing that separates yeah, business class from economy class except for the luggage I mean you have two times 32 kilograms of luggage and that's really great I would not spend a lot of money for this I would not spend miles for this because for just a few miles more you can have a really great experience for a mid-haul or longer flight on one of their long haul planes or wide body planes of the star lines airlines and so that would be so much better actually of course if this is a connecting flight to a long haul flight that's just what you do you just go on this kind of flight and that's just fine or if you have a lot of luggage you need to transport that then this is also the way to do other than that the crew is of course great but that's all anyway in economy class and business class the same the crew of Lufthansa is really very good they're very very well trained and you can see that they don't see it just as a um, career step between jobs but they really dedicate their uh, career to this airline and they really know not only how to serve food and drinks but they know what to do in a case of an emergency for example medical emergency or general emergency I would totally trust them and confide in them and just do what they say follow uh, what they say and um, that's not the case with every airline not the case with every crew on on those fancy airlines that I also like to fly um, but they are mostly younger and not so long uh, don't have such a long experience uh, with flying so that's what I can say about Lufthansa crews they're friendly but they also really know about their job and that's a really great feeling too so I would not spend the big money but I mean if it's a connecting flight it's a okay choice I would say
So my dear ones, we've arrived in Munich in Bavaria. I hope you really enjoyed this report. Please stay tuned, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and see you again very soon here at Travel Sing Fly.